And we're back, playing some Mega Man X Dose. Fighting the boss I hate the most! Crystal Snail! Crystal Asshole! Ah! Uh, last time, this jump took me a bit. I hope it doesn't this time. The chain makes it easier, you don't need the chain to make it. Oh, yes! Whew. Well, I'm okay with that. You have to jump a lot later than it looks like. Like, I think my mistake is I kept trying to jump at the top of the jump. Like, at the top of the robot jump. Or the suit, or whatever. My friend said something really cool about this. Like, how you slide, like, down super fast and you just land in the suit. That's really... Those are nice little touches that I enjoy. And this won't fall in here. I'm glad I was thinking that because <laughs> as soon as it started going, I went, or does it? It's like, nope, it doesn't. Hang up here? No, you can't. Alright, so you gotta. Gotta listen to my sound glitched HD. I think I explained. Did I explain why that happens? Because, um. I have an HD cable for my PS2 because it still uses the PS3 uh, AV hookups. And it's in my Roxio, which is also recording in HD, but this game is a 240p game. So I can see why it screws up. Like I said, there's a constant shaking when I play it. Like the screen, and this is just the side boss, I'm just showing you where the door is. Um, there's a constant shaking when I'm playing, like it's all jittery the whole time. But the colors are fine, but then when it records, the colors are messed up and the sound glitch happens on both ends. I died last time doing this. Oh, shit. Okay. And, um... I like using the... The dash boots for... Thing... Damn it. I like using the dash boots for things I might not make. Like, by doing a dash jump. For some reason, it just feels cleaner. Or more dependable. So I use the, uh, the silk shot for this. It seems to do a lot of damage. And... Like, you can kill him before he gets... Like, he gets up to two or three of these dudes out. But, like right there, he barely got one. I got an extra life. If you can make this jump, there's a health up here. There's no real timing to it, you just kind of know where it's at. And here is the helmet upgrade. I'm just wondering how I'm going to get... I just wonder what I'm going to use down here. Whatever. I'll take a hit. I'll throw this. Ah! Mega Man X, enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your radar optics. It uses some energy, but with it you'll be able to see objects that you could not see before. This is pretty much the item finder. Good luck, Mega Man. I didn't even think about it like that before, because he calls his feet, or like the boots, the main drive unit, and the radar optics. I keep forgetting he's a robot, he's not like a human cyborg or something like that, I think... Maybe he's a cyborg, I don't even know. But he's pretty much just a robot. And... So, I guess it would refer to his, like, sight as radar. And his boots as, like, his feet as drive. And the helmet doesn't look too bad in this. I think it looks pretty stupid in the first one. I may change my opinion when I see it again, because I haven't played that game in a few years. Um... Ooh, get away from me, bats. If you go up here and you charge the Silk Shot, instead of getting health, you get like weapon energy, which is kind of pointless. Because I don't know why you would need that. And I don't know why these bats are being assholes. You can come up here and hide. But then more bats come. Bats! There's a Batman. Ooh, nope, nope, nope. Ah! No! Can't escape that bat. Aw, oh, damn it. Thought I could escape that. If you really wanted to, you could shoot it through the wall. The, uh... The magnet. The magnet was total ass on this dude. Even with the magnet, he's still such a bastard. I hate him. This is the boss I hate the most. He might be the hardest to start with. It's either him or probably Bubble Crab, I would think. 
but I can't remember. I haven't tested that in a while. Oh, are you shooting? Oh, damn it. He's gonna hit me. I like to throw the mine where he's gonna go, so he falls in. Oh, what? He usually doesn't do that. I might have to E tank. Holy crap. He's hurting me. Like, even with the armor, if he just runs into you. I like to leave the mines where he's gonna be. It makes me feel special. God, his slowdown, which he's doing again. Oh, and I missed! Ah! This guy's such an ass. I hate him. I'm running. He does a good job with his AI of, like, leading where you're gonna go. Oh damn it. Missed that. Like, when he's sitting up there, he's gonna do the slowdown, because he spins faster. He spins faster for the slowdown, and when he... He should be dead here. There we go. When he... Like, when he tracks you for his little shell ram or whatever, he does a really good job of... Like cutting you off. Like if you're if you're at the bottom of the hill or the hill, the wall, and you start jumping up, he'll aim for like the mid to the top of the wall and try and hit you there. So it's really like you can kind of bait it out of him once you understand it, but it may take you a couple tries at first to understand that. <clears throat> you got Crystal Hunter, the most useless power in the entire game. Mega Man X. I've located the X Hunter's base. It's a grid location double zero. That's right at the North Pole. Roger, Dr. Kane. I'm on my way. It will take some more time to reactivate zero. Slow them down, Mega Man X. How cool would it be to teleport? Just all over the place like that. I'd actually like to... Just for like my own purposes, I really wish I knew the specifics of the teleport, like how far it goes, and does he have to lock onto something? Is it like jumper or instant transmission? Like what the hell is it? So we could start the X um, Hunter levels, but we need to get a few more things. We need a couple heart tanks and an energy tank, and those are in two different levels. <clears throat> Obviously, if you shoot their heads off, they uh, they die immediately. He can actually hit their head. Oh, or you can hit the body. So, ah, this guy hurts. So you freeze him, that's how you get up here. He give you a life, then a heart tank. Actually, ah, oh, you could just think, like, oh, it's a life. Okay, and anyway, yeah, the helmet will tell you to come up here. Somehow, but you have to kind of figure that out yourself. The first time, and then it tells you there's something down here. Like, that's how you find those if you don't already know where they're at. It's a place that cannot be found except by those who already know where it is. Actually, that's an island, but still. Yeah, we'll save. Waste more time of your lives. I know I called the uh, the Crystal Hunter worthless, and it it's not worthless, but like all it really is good for that I find is for just making platforms so you can get places, and it makes the platforming easier. But also, it just doesn't feel like, um... I don't think any boss is weak to it. I mean, if there is one that's weak to it, please... Please tell me, because I'm going to try it too. Like, when I fight all the robot dudes again, I'm going to try and... Um... I'm going to try and use the crystal. Oh, there we go. So now, now it's important to not get seen by these. It's only this one that you need to worry about, though, like I said before. Once you make this, it's pretty much over. There you go. And you charge up the, uh... This one's pretty easy. Like, once you get past that, it's pretty easy. Oh, shit. Ah! That's what I should've did before. There's our last hard tank. We still need this, we need to make a similar jump to get the, uh, the last energy tank, which is actually nearby too. So these, we can afford to let these just come down. And take those out. And this... It's gonna get suit. It's not this one, it's the next one. Like this one you have to jump through. 
then you have to get ready. And jump up there. I'm surprised I did that in one try. <laughs> I'm very happy I did that in one try. Alright. So we're out of here. Oh. No, that's done. We got all the parts. We have all the tanks. And now we can get the secret later on in stage three. But before we do that, I know I'm doing a little backtracking, I'm sorry. But we're going to fill our E-tanks, so we're ready. And then we'll, we'll probably have time to get one of the uh, X-Hunter stages. I don't even need to do this. I'm just going to anyway. I just like killing the sub. Which is a throwback from... You can call it a throwback from Mega Man X. It's like the exact same fish sub. You don't have to break every part, you just have to break all but one of them. To kill it. And then this opens no matter what, which is nice. And if you charge up here, I think I showed this already. There you go. Alright, so we're full. Now we're out of here. That didn't take too long. We can get one of the stages, maybe two. We'll see. Trying to keep these episodes a little short. Unlike my Paper Mario, which is between 25 to 45 minutes. Alright. Now, I don't know how they didn't notice this in the North Pole, by the way. Or how short the distance is. Oh. So, you can, you can avoid a lot of the crap down there. Because there's spikes, and jumps, and all that stuff. You can avoid that by coming this way. Then, oh, these, you can, the first couple don't really matter, but you can kill them with that. Like, that's the easiest way to do it that I found. And it makes that a thousand times easier. I was going to say, can we kill them? I'll probably get crushed in one of these. Oops. Actually, maybe not, because they don't go until I'm up there. That's good. Yeah, these these jump oops. These jumps aren't too bad. And those guys don't respawn. That's like the most awesome thing about it. So shoot. Well, you're dead. Yeah, they don't respawn, so you can What the hell? I didn't know you could do that. Something new every day. Oh, now you're now I'm behind you. Yeah. Okay. Right. Like this, the fourth one's the only one I think is actually remotely difficult. But I'm just showing off that I know how to do that. Yeah. No, I I didn't even know how to do that until about two hours ago. I was like, damn, I hate these things. Let me just try this. Oh hey. Oh hi. You can do that. No! Let me go! Ah! I'm just being terrible. Alright. Oh, shit! Ah, oh, what? So I forget what the side path is down there, but... Whatever. Oh, no! Is that it? Oh, ah. well, let's check out the side path, which looks infinitely harder than the top path. Well, let's just kill ourselves real quick. I said, let's just kill ourselves. Where are some spikes when you need? Holy crap. It's like I was destined to show this part. This actually doesn't look too bad either. Yeah, like I said... Oh, what? They do respawn. But I guess... Oh. Oh, let me get up there. There you go. Sound glitch, that's cool. Yeah, they... They don't respawn immediately, though, which is really nice. Like, you can get pretty far ahead before they come back. It's not like a lot of the other crap, where as soon as you go off screen or whatever, they're back. And if you dash jump, and... Oops. 
and then get caught by that, you still keep your dash momentum, but for whatever reason you can't dash afterwards. Well, actually, that makes complete sense. Just jumping up. There we go. Now he won't be here. This is the hardest one. Maybe I'll show me getting through there another time, which is probably no. Teehee. Uh, and then, who is it? It's Vile. Not Vile. <laughs> I wish it was Vile. It's Violin. I've never seen him go through the door like that. That's cool. My friend and I always try and like, come up with different poses to get through the door. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. But there's only like five or six. His weakness is the bubble. But honestly, I think in this form, I think the bubble's pretty worthless. Because you have all this to like actually block this crap now. Which can make it kinda hard, like at times, if he gets a like, if he hits you in a good like if he corners you really well. Um like it, it could be really hard to dodge, but if he gives him like that, where I have like all this room, as even though I got hit in the face. It's really nice. Like right here, that's bad. So you just want to be as far away as you can. He'll only hit you with the, uh, like I said, the only one that you have to worry about is the, the one where he, like, aims it specifically at you, that one. Damn, that does some damage. It's like six points. What? Oh, wait, he had a voice. How could he overloaded my circuits? Ah! I don't remember his voice. Sorry. I already forgot. I got blown up. I realized I left out a word. How could he have? Or cow- Oh my god. English, too difficult for me, I'll just stop. Okay. So, next time we'll probably finish the game, hopefully. Hopefully. Ideally, we'll see if we can do it in 20 minutes. Maybe not. See you later.